And just talk about becoming the all-time leading rusher here at Vanderbilt Catholic and how that, how much that means to you and your family to uh, edge out, you know, one, I guess your longtime uh, hero in Elijah McGuire as the all-time leading rusher here at Vanderbilt. How does that feel? It feels great for me and my family. It gets to know that I have a record with my name on it and my family's name on it. My last name is the most important thing to me. I'm representing my, my name on the front and the name on the back. It's a great experience for me. It's a great accomplishment, but it's more work to do. But... I'm happy with the um, I'm happy with the results I can show. Let's talk about all the hard work that you put in to get this. Obviously, you know, since you first stepped here on campus, you've been playing as an eighth grader, ninth grader, varsity football, a thousand yard seasons. Just talk about all the hard work and all the yardage that you've been able to, you know, put up here in the last four years. It's been great to have all the experience level, all the people that I've played with, all the teammates, the coaches that have been here. Credit goes to my old linemen, my receivers, everything. We preach every day that 15 yard runs are for the old linemen, 50 yards are for the receivers. So it's a team effort. So it's not just my record, it's a team record, it's a school's record, and it's a big accomplishment for us. Were you actually keeping up as it goes along? Or was it a number? I know Eli was the all time leading rusher here. Yeah. I mean, was it circled on your goal uh, board? Or, I mean. Yeah, it was circled on it. It was circled on just in my mind and on my calendar. Like, I gotta get some type of accomplishment that I know will always stand and for me to make it as best as I can, do my best every day at practice, every day in the game. Every every rep counts, every rush counts, and it's just it's a greater feeling to have a record of my own. And just talk about how Eli has inspired you. I mean, you were a little kid when he was here. Mm -hmm. You know, he's inspired so many people around here. You know, I mean, he probably still, inspi mm -hmm. still inspires you to this day. Yeah, he still inspires me by, he still inspires me by everything I do. It's just, he paved the way for me watching him have everybody in the stands just cheering, energetic, and having just the foundation of what a running back can do and what he will do for his team, no matter what, and not being denied of yard. Yeah, yeah I know he probably is proud of you. And um, hey, when y'all get together, maybe in the future, you can hold it on him that, yeah. hey, I'm the all-time leading Russian now. Huh? <laughs> he's, a, he's a single season holder of the Russian record, so I'm gonna try to aim for that one. So me and him will have a little competition on that. Great deal. Well, you're having another remarkable year here at Vanderbilt. You guys have a good season, a good record, and get ready for the playoffs. Uh, just talk about what you've been able to accomplish here your last season here at Vanderbilt. I've been able to accomplish a lot. We have a great offensive scheme. We have a great defensive scheme. We're both, both sides of the ball are clicking, including special teams. We make plays all over the field. And our coaches pave the way every day at practice in the morning, starting at 6 in the morning to whenever we leave practice and on game days. Every day is is counted towards us, and we want to end up with a great a great season in the championship. Yeah. So even though you got this tremendous record, and hey, you can add a couple more yardage in the next two games and in the playoffs, obviously, but that's not your end goal, right? No, so championship is the end goal, and I want to try to aim for the season single season rushing record held by Elijah McGuire. So you're trying to break another record. Yes, sir. And what's the what's the exact number for? Ooh, he had 2,500, 2,600, I want to say. And you know where you stand right now? I'm at, I think, 1,200. I got a lot of work to do. But the harder I run, the help, the, the help it goes to my team. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between this year's team compared to the last couple of years? I know you have always had good teams here, but is there something special about this year's team? I think it's just we we understand the game plan. We know our potential, and we're going to leave everything out on the field. Not saying we didn't last year, but you can see we have everybody wanting it. We have freshmen working hard, we have sophomores working hard, we have juniors working hard, we have seniors working hard. I feel like that plays a big role in everything. You feel like y'all got a chip on your shoulder to try to prove people. I know y'all only got, what, maybe one one loss this year? Yes, sir. That was a, a tough game against Lutcher yes, State Power. Uh, you feel like y'all underestimated at this point? Yeah, so we still feel like we're under underestimating. We ha don't have our respect, but we haven't, coaches say we haven't arrived yet, so. We have to keep working like we're still underdogs. We have to work, we have to bust our tail every day. So whatever happens in this four walls, we can only change on it. And that's all that counts and all the people that matter. But we love the fans that come support us. Did y'all learn anything from that Lutcher loss? Obviously they're a state power. Um, a lot of athletes, you know, I know y'all had a tough night that night, but yes, did that kind of, uh, how did that bring y'all together a little bit more to refocus? Oh, a few with the fire, because we know everybody in these four walls, they had a chance in the game. We had an opportunity. We just have to dominate. Next time, we have to make advantage. We have to take an advantage. We have to capitalize on our mistakes, ex execute everything we do, and just we have to stay focused and do better.
Right there. So, like I say, just two more games left. ST this week, and then a big one against E.D. Yes, White. Sir. You know, um, a lot of excitement here. About yes, sir. And the book football in this community. Yes, sir. There's a lot of excitement for the games coming up. We take it one week at a time. We go one to know every day. We go focus on this week, and then we're going to next week. Right there, right there. With that said, is you know a lot of people have supported you, like you mentioned earlier. Is there anyone you want to thank for helping you along the way, whether it's family, friends, coaches, teammates? You know, I want to thank my family first of all. Not, well, God first of all. Without Him, anything is nothing is possible without God. And then my family, my teammates, and my coaches for all believing in me and rooting on me, rooting on me and counting on me, and they believe in me and trust me every day. To make plays, to do my assignment, I trust them to do the same. Right there, right there. I mean, is it emotional knowing that, hey man, this is like the last couple of games for you, and you're about to go to college soon next year? Yes, sir. It is emotional for me, but I know I gotta make the most of every opportunity, and I don't have no regrets. Yeah, right there. Right there. Anything else you want to add? Go Terriers. Go Terriers, and yeah, I guess the next thing we'll be talking about college soon. You still with Liberty, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's go stay right there. Go Flames. Yes, sir. <laughs> go. All right, Coach, you got a really special player here at Bandit, but probably one of the greatest players to ever come through here with over 5,000 career yards in Jalen Coleman. Right. How special is it to see him become the school's all-time leading rusher here? It's just a phenomenal accomplishment um, because just as good a football player he is, he's even that great of a person as a human being. Uh, he's a leader for our team. Uh, probably one of the hardest workers. So it's just something to put the icing on the cake uh, to, for his accomplishments. It's been great to see. Glad he was able to do it this year. Um, obviously, you know, being he's been playing since he's an eighth grader. I've only had him for one year, uh, but it's just been a great year to get to know him. Um, obviously, it's a team effort, a team accomplishment, like he said. Uh, but there's a lot of individual hard work that goes into that. Um, so I know he, he gives all the credit to everybody else, but he deserves a lot of that credit also, even though he won't tell you that. So it's it's really a special. Glad we can get it done and honor him. Especially since they had a lot of great running backs here. Elijah McGuire, the, the guy he just topped for this career rushing record. Right. He's, he's telling me he's still going for a single season record here too from Eli's. But, I mean, that's an NFL player. I mean, right. and, I mean that's Two of the greatest right here for me. <laughs> no, it, it, it's been great to be able to coach him. Obviously, I got to watch Elijah play uh, high school and, and uh, collegiately. So that he's, but Jalen's that type of player, has that type of work ethic and ability. Um, and you know, I, I know this. You know, with some of the wins, I, know, I don't know in the past, but I know this year where Jalen's maybe only played two quarters. Uh, so I know that you know probably hurts him in terms of his records. But he has not complained one bit. You know, when when the other guy scores or other running back. He's the first one on the on the field celebrating. But that's what type of kid he is. He's a team player. Um, so when you take those things into account, um, and not to take anything away from Elijah at all, but uh, Jalen's up there in that conversation. Right, yeah. Well, you still got some games left this year. Right. ST this week, Edie White next week, and then the playoffs. So mm -hmm. I know there's further goals. That's not like he said. That's not the end game for him. He has more expectations for himself and the team going forward. Y'all have a really good team here getting ready for the playoffs too. Right? Correct. You know, we got a big one this Friday night with South Terrebonne. We've been preparing all week for that. Um, and that's our focus right now. You know, we kind of do one day at a time. We're, you know, we, we enter we enter Monday morning at zero and zero and we got to go one and no. We got to earn the right to win the game Friday night. Um, and, and he and he knows that and understands that. And he's always going to be the focal point of our offensive game plan. How can we get him the ball? Um, because he makes plays. And uh, so we, we got a good game plan, I think, going into this week. And hopefully we can continue that on uh, after Friday night. Yeah. And um, like you say, just building for the future. And Jalen, a big part of which I hope to accomplish, not only for the rest of the season, but beyond, right? Yeah. Absolutely. He, he's laid a, a big foundation of, of this year for us, obviously, with the new staff, uh, trying to implement a new culture. He's been completely bought in and has been a great example of what we want to build around going forward. Uh, so couldn't be even more pleased. A lot of the younger guys respect him, um, not only for what he's accomplished, but how he works, how he treats others. Um, a, a great guy to have in the locker room and a great leader that these guys have can learn from um, in, in what we want to build as a, as a Terrier football player. Yeah, anything else you want to add? I mean, just yep. continuing to add up the stats for the next I, I, I just can't say enough of how great of a person Jalen is. Obviously, you know, people see what he does on Friday nights, but they don't see him 
Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, how he works, how he approaches the classroom, how, how he's out in the community doing community service with us. Uh, I just can't say that enough, how much of a phenomenal person he is. Uh, carries over a 3.0 GPA. So all the stuff that maybe does it maybe falls by the wayside and people see them run for the 50 60 yard touchdowns um but the things you don't see is what a allows him to do that uh just a great family and a great kid can't say that enough just just love having him be a part of this team love having him on campus as a student athlete so then he got great teammates too like you say his offensive line and stuff absolutely our offensive line you know in coming into the year with only one returning starter one senior um and they've been able to gel together uh, in block, they take a lot of pride in his in other people's stats because they don't get stats. So they take a lot of pride in, in blocking for Jalen in the offense, and you know, in our quarterback Jack, you know, able, you know, with how we run our offense with the RPOs, uh, getting us in the right situations, and our receivers, our perimeter blocking has been great. And we you know we tell our receivers if you want to get the rock, you got to block, and and they take pride in that too. So it has been a collaborative offensive, defensive, special team effort this year to uh, to have his achievement. Well, just cherish him while you have him. Absolutely, that's all I can the... do. Yeah, absolutely, no doubt about it. Hopefully, we can clone him. Maybe <laughs> we'll find well, out. Hopefully, Coach Jaroski has another son. Coming well, I think up. he's got a younger son coming up. So I, I, I got, I'm, I'm, yeah, absolutely. So I, I, I LSSC, I think prevents me from saying anything. But yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> well, congratulations on your success so far this season. Hopefully, y'all have much, much more to accomplish this year before it's all said and done. Uh, I hope so, and thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. All right.